Guys, welcome to the J. Scott Outdoors podcast. I am laying on my back right now. It is, that sounded kind of weird. I'm laying on my back in a cave, kind of a cliff overhanging here in the Black Canyon of the Gunnison. And it's uh, July or June 30th. Tomorrow will be July 1st. And I've got my my friend Monty Parsons here with me. And we hiked into the Black Canyon of the Gunnison today uh, using the Chucker Trail. And we loaded up my, I guess I should say we're on the banks of the Gunnison River in the Black Canyon. And um, we loaded up my small uh, nine foot eight uh, raft. Uh, that has a frame on it so Monty carried the frame and all his gear and I carried the the raft and the floor and all of my gear uh, down trucker trail and uh, it took us um, about an hour and let me back up Um, we got a shuttle from a place called Pleasure Park which is kind of outside of Delta Colorado and uh, we got had a guy named Joe, and Joe rode with us in my uh, Yukon. Uh, I have a 2009 GMC Yukon that I keep up here in Colorado, and he rode with us, dropped us off at Chucker Trail at the top. I think it's like a mile, maybe a little more, mile and a half. It's on a trail um, down to the river. Probably at about oh 65 pounds 65 to 70 pounds each um got to the river put the boat together we got on the water at about 6 15 in the evening um and we floated down to basically the first campsite which is a place called big eddy there's a big circular eddy out in front and it was raining um between Chucker and our campsite here, which is only maybe a mile, um, probably not even a mile, Monty probably turned like 15 fish. He probably landed probably close to a dozen and uh, ca- caught a couple nice browns, a couple nice rainbows, all on salmon flies, all on dries. And... Um, We uh, came up here and set up camp, and then we got back in and kind of got in the Big Eddy and fished around and caught a few more fish. Uh, Then we came up and had uh, some um, mountain house meals, and we had lasagna, and uh, now it's uh, about 10.05, and I'm laying on top of my Thermarest um, sleeping mat, and um i think it's a neo air thermarest neo air and i've got my kuyu sleeping bag it's still too warm to use the sleeping bag it's i'm just kind of laying on my mat i've actually got i didn't bring my kuyu tent i probably should have it didn't show any sign of rain but of course it did but we're kind of in this cave so um it's dry in here and i've got um the footprint to the mountain star two-person tent uh so i'm just i'm just sleeping kind of in this cave uh on it's kind of sandy bottom no telling what's crawling around here um tonight but um hopefully i'll be able to report back in in the morning with what's shaking but uh yeah we're gonna try and float so we have about 13 miles to float um tomorrow we're going to get up. I've got the alarm set for 5 o'clock. Uh, we're going to get up and start throwing the salmon fly dry and see what we can turn. And there's there's people, there's a bunch of boats that are going to be behind us. We saw them. They'll probably roll in. Their, it's a out, out, couple outfitters. Um, looked like they were staging their boats, and so they'll be behind us in the morning. So... Uh, Yeah, another great adventure in the Black Canyon. Look forward to hooking some fish tomorrow and 
hopefully we can turn a big one we'll probably fish the salmon fly dry uh, all the way all the way down to probably the smith fork and then if we start seeing uh, yellow sallies come off if they're not eating the salmon fly we'll probably switch to yellow sally dries and um, see if we can turn a couple fish down there so everything pretty much in the state of Colorado um, the Roaring Fork Valley the Eagle Valley uh, is pretty blown out uh, the rivers actually had been dropping for four or five days but it's just because we had some colder weather and then we had three or four days of really hot weather and it's like double spiked so it's actually back way way high uh, spiked up and um, so it'll be interesting to see how long it takes that water to come off the snow to come off the mountains and uh, Monty's going to be here till I think the 17th of July so hopefully we can get some good fishing in but uh, good chance that the water's going to be too high in the Roaring Fork and too high in the Eagle um, so we'll just have to see so i guess stay tuned guys we're going to go to sleep here uh get up in about seven hours and um get after it so thanks for tuning in i'll try and uh give a report tomorrow uh on the river thanks for listening well guys we just got done floating the gunnison river the last time we talked it was 10 o'clock at night or so and we had just uh, hiked down into the canyon and Monty had caught a bunch of fish and we laid down for the night and uh, we found, we actually camped in a place called Big Eddy and it's the first campsite uh, below Chucker Trail. Uh, we were able to fish really slow and, and do really well uh, right up until dark. Uh, and then we camped out and found this, at Big Eddy, this campground that's kind of this cave and um, camped out there, got up uh, at about 4.45 the next morning and uh, put on the river just a little bit after 5. Uh, beautiful morning. Uh, it was clear. Uh, but in, that, in the canyon, in the, Gunnison, in the Black Canyon of the Gunnison uh, River there, uh, the, the canyon walls are so high that the sun really doesn't shine on the water till probably 8.30 or 9 o'clock. Uh, and so Monty and I, we floated uh, from Big Eddy. So we had, it's a 14 mile stretch uh, of river. And so we had about 13 miles to go. And uh, Monty did very, very well uh, fishing uh, with a, a one salmon fly. Um, it's uh, about a, it's close to probably two inches long. We were actually using a size eight uh, salmon fly and just fishing one fly and he caught a bunch of fish and then once the sun uh, actually kind of got higher and started getting brighter light uh, we had to work uh, quite a bit harder for our fish uh, had to hit the different shade pockets shade lines had to get it right on the bank um, up under the undercut banks uh, right off the grass uh, where those brown trout were kind of seeking shelter uh, but it seemed like when there was low light early in the morning, um, Monty caught them kind of all over in different, you know, areas of the river along seam lines, uh, out in the open, out, or out in the, you know, out in the middle, uh, kind of all over. But definitely in the lower light, those fish uh, went lower in the water column, and um, it was a little more difficult. Uh, but as we progressed down river, we saw a bunch of adult uh, salmon flies uh down at like bobcat and duncan and ute uh and then through that bottom lower section and a lot of golden uh stone flies with the yellow body so we had golden stones and salmon flies and monty caught a bunch of really nice browns only caught a few rainbows and so we floated down and then once we got to the smith fork uh the we still saw a few salmon flies and they were still eating the salmon fly uh, but we really had to work for them then by then it was probably 12 noon the sun was you know straight up and pretty bright and it was pretty hot uh, so we really had to really find the shade pockets and you know cast really deep into the brush and kind of brush brush them out uh, but he was able to catch uh, a bunch more nice fish we also had yellow sallies coming off uh, and I switched there briefly 
Uh, I had Monty switch to Yellow Sally dry flies, a double, kind of a double rig. Um, and he, he had one fish come up, but they weren't really keyed in on the, the Yellow Sally's, which is the smallest of a stone fly. And they have a yellow body with kind of a little red butt. Uh, and we were fishing like a f size 14 Yellow Sally on, on the front and like a size, a, a kind of a more sp slender body, size 14 and didn't have much luck so we went back to the salmon fly and he caught fish all the way down to pleasure park and so that was a 14 mile float uh, where we hiked the boat in and then from there once we got to pleasure park we broke the boat down uh, and headed back uh, to my house in colorado and overall it was it was a great trip uh, we're looking at making another trip uh, down there in the next uh, week or so and we're also looking at uh, heading back to the Green River below Flaming Gorge uh, in the AB section uh, there in Utah uh, because the cicadas are still actually uh, very prevalent and the fish are still really keyed on, on cicadas. So uh, we've got around here our rivers, the Roaring Fork and the Eagle are as high as I've ever seen them really blown out chocolate milk water um very you know non-fishable conditions uh so we're gonna have to kind of stretch out here to to find some fishable water so the good news of that is probably the remaining part of july from mid-july on and most of august i think a lot of these rivers are actually going to fish pretty darn good and we really you know after last year's drought we really need this water so that's kind of an update on the Gunnison River uh, trip, and it's always fun dropping into the Gunny Gorge. It's a, just an amazing place. I highly recommend if you guys have any um, desire to go check it out. Uh, there's some great guide service. There's Black Canyon Anglers, and there's Gunnison River Expeditions. Uh, both uh, do a phenomenal job of uh, you know navigating the canyon and the big white water and and uh, all of the things that go on with the challenges of getting into the canyon. So thanks for listening to this podcast. Uh, I also want to uh, remind you guys that GoHunt.com, the month of July, is doing a $1,000 gift card uh, to uh, anyone that purchases anything from the GoHunt.com uh, gear shop. Uh, so you can go online and use the at checkout, use the JScott19 uh checkout code and that is going to get you entered into the thousand dollar gift card drawing if you sp it's dollar for dollar per entry so if you spend ten dollars you get ten entries if you spend a thousand dollars you get a thousand entries into the drawing uh, so uh, good luck to you guys go check out gohunt.com i want to thank them for their support of this podcast also remind you that the month of July, it's a 30-day free trial for Go Hunt Insider. So go to gohunt.com forward slash jscott, sign up for the 30-day free trial. If you've had any uh, inkling to wonder what was going on with the Insider, you can go on there and have full access just like an Insider member. Uh, you're basically an Insider member for 30 days and you can have full access to all the different draws of all the different states all the different animals all the different hunts uh, you can compare draw odds from year to year it's just an incredible resource you can look at all of the strategy articles that are only available to insider members uh, so go check it out i also want to thank kuyu ultralight hunting for their sponsorship of this podcast uh, kuyu you can check more out at kuiu.com uh, also, phone scope. Use the JScott19 promo code. Get a 10% discount. And OnxMaps.com. Use the JScott19 promo code. You're going to get a 20% discount. Guys, if you want to uh, comment, question, uh, reach out to me. You can do so on my Instagram. Send me a direct message. You can also send me an email at jscottoutdoors@gmail.com. at gmail.com. Guys, until then. Till next time, till the next episode, God bless you and uh, happy 4th of July.